Welcome to Yoga at Home with Laurie. This is a 10-minute uh, class, so um, I'm just continuing with uh, these shorter classes because people are really enjoying them. Today I'd like to focus on Kapalabhati, which is a breathing technique. Kapalabhati interpreted means skull polishing. So it's a breathing technique that can make the head feel warm and shiny <laughs> and it's done um, as a uh, it can be done as what's called a Kriya a cleansing breath uh, I found it's really a nice way to help strengthen the abdominals and bring attention down into the lower diaphragmatic breath uh, area of the body I find uh, doing series of Kapala body uh, you can do anything from a hundred repetitions to 500 repetitions at a time uh, and you will find it really creates uh, quite a bit of muscular conditioning down into these vital breathing organs it also enriches the blood with a lot of oxygen and it's a powerful assistant to the immune system simply by the fact that it moves waste product from the lymphatic system that works with the lungs and the immune system now, how do we breathe like that? Usually you take a deeper breath in, three quarter or four, and the exhale will be a sharp, rapid through the nostrils. And that through the nostrils is created by a pulling in of the belly down here. So you can see my hands. And the speed at which you do Kapalabhati can vary. So you can go fast, you can go moderate, you can go slow. So with your Kapala body, I want you to go at the rate that feels right for you. If at any time you feel lightheaded or dizzy, please don't do it. If you've had abdominal surgery, if you're pregnant, if you're on your flow, these are all cases where you don't want to be doing Kapala body. Hernias. So if this area of the body doesn't feel right to do this powerful breathing technique, it is a powerful breath technique, just imagine doing it. Just imagine doing it. So I'm going to be working at a moderate breathing pace. I'm going to do 20 rounds and then pause. And then 30 rounds and then pause and then 50 rounds and then pause. So three rounds of Kapala body. I'll just keep an eye on the time here. Hands on the belly. And Kapala body can be done while we're holding different poses. So we might do that as well, just for a, a change up. Let each new breath get a little deeper so you open up the breathing channel, open up the chest, belly free. Unlock the knees. And on the next inhale, start 20 rounds of Kapala body. Inhale, three quarter breath. And begin. Inhale, exhale, release, close the eyes. Once again, taking that time to feel the after effect of Kapala body. You can also do Kapala body seated. So if it feels more comfortable to be seated, please do so. And also notice the spaciousness it creates in the mind, if there's a sense of spaciousness in the mind or not. Usually Kapala body has a sense of creating an inner silence. Now one thing that I didn't mention in the first round is there's a forceful exhalation. It's a, it's a, uh, a purposeful 
contraction of the belly to expel air out through the nostrils. But with the inhale, there's nothing. It's just a natural inhale. I'm going to do this round a little slower so you get to experience the different speeds. So we're going to be doing 30 rounds. <coughs> Sometimes it's good to uh, blow the nose <coughs> if you find that you're dislodging um, particulates in the nostrils. Start to deepen the breath. On the next breath, begin Kapalabhati. Inhale and begin. Inhale, exhale completely. Close the eyes. Notice the effect of Kapala body on that second round. Notice what happens, especially in the skull area. So it's important to realize breathing techniques are not theoretical. There's something you need to experience and experiment with. So this is the difference between yoga and philosophy. Yoga is not a philosophy. It's an experiential, experimental science that you have with yourself. So it's up to you to experience and experiment these things to draw your own conclusions about what's going on. Adopting a philosophical framework without going through the practices is, is really, I think, meaningless. It's like you're reading about the taste of chocolate and somebody describes it poetically, majestically, beautifully, it, like it lights you up. But the difference between reading about it and actually tasting it are worlds apart. They're not the same world. The taste of chocolate, the theoretical knowledge of the taste of chocolate aren't the same thing. So let the senses come alive. <clears throat> I'm going to come back to a, a more moderately fast 50 rounds of Kapalabhati. So again, if you prefer to sit, please sit. All right. Let the breath become deeper. On the next inhale, take a three quarter breath in and begin. Inhale, exhale completely, let everything go. Release all breathing technique and feel the after effect of these three rounds of Kapalabhati. So I hope this gives you a sense of uh, using Kapala body. In the next uh, 20 minute sequence, I'm going to combine our balancing and Kapala body to show you how you can use Kapala body in your own practice, or if a teacher will introduce you to Kapala body during a practice, 
you'll have this experience uh, under your belt. All right. Namaste.